Dire warnings about artificial intelligence range from concerns about privacy, inequality, bias, to job losses, to this. In Japan, the country's biggest newspaper and its largest telecom company warn without major changes, social order could collapse. In this country, there are alarm bells sounding about AI's potential ability to harm our democracy in an election year. It's one of my areas of greatest concern, the, 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 the more general ability of these models to manipulate, to persuade, uh, to provide sort of one-on-one -on -one uh, you know, interactive disinformation. Despite those concerns raised by the head of one of the leading AI companies in the world, members of Congress do not seem to have passed the debate stage, though there seems to be bipartisan agreement on AI's power and on the need to act. Will we strike that balance between technological innovation and our ethical and moral responsibility to humanity? We cannot afford to be as late to responsibly regulating generative AI as we have been to social media. The lack of action, a sharp contrast to other parts of the world. We delivered. The EU delivered. The European Union last month approved sweeping AI legislation, including specific rules and restrictions for how it can be used, an attempt to keep humans in control of the technology and not the other way around. We have forever attached to the concept of artificial intelligence the fundamental values that form the basis of all societies. A sentiment experts here also worry about. If this stuff gets out of control, gets out of hand, spreads wildly, then people don't know what they can trust. They're not going to know what's real, they're not going to know what's fake, and they're going to conclude they can't believe anything. Lawmakers have said that time and time again they see an urgency in the need to regulate artificial intelligence. But we have heard similar sentiments about the need to rein in social media with very little action following those calls for change. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzow.